Five runners all set, and they're off. Chichester just dwells slightly and is crossing behind the field as Mighty Ulysses is the early leader in the Tattersall's Sovereign Stakes. This Group 3 contest, one of our feature races of the season at Salisbury, Mighty Ulysses leads Dancing Magic up on the outside in the orange and black stripes. The market leader is Imbesto as Dancing Magic is going on with things and has now taken the advantage. Imbesto moves forward to share second with Mighty Ulysses, Regal Reality, who jumped out perfectly okay in the blue colours, and Chichester in the pink is last of all as they make their way down through the first three furlongs. Dancing Magic under Tom Marquand, just staying one off the rail at the moment with Mighty Ulysses and Oshin Murphy in blue and yellow. Embesto, David Egan in the yellow jacket just ahead of Regal Reality, Richard Kingscott towards the inside, horse with the white face and Chichester and Kevin Stott last of all. And Dancing Magic's in short, this appears to be being run at a reasonable gallop. Mighty Ulysses in second, Imbesto tracking the leaders, then Regal Reality and Chichester as they make their way down, still with over three furlongs to travel, but Imbesto breaks cover now and moves up to press Mighty Ulysses as they improve on either side of Dancing Magic. Then behind these, Regal Reality and Chichester is last of all. Two furlongs to go. Imbesto in the yellow colours. Mighty Ulysses on the inside for Ushin Murphy. Then Dancing Magic, Regal Reality trying to get on terms. Mighty Ulysses and Imbesto are head to head. Behind these, Regal Reality, a good battle up front. Mighty Ulysses and Imbesto. Regal Reality still two lengths away. Mighty Ulysses clinging to the lead. Imbesto, Regal Reality not quite getting there. Mighty Ulysses, one last lunge from Imbesto at the line. Mighty Ulysses may have just held off Imbesto with Regal Reality closing on the pair late in the Tattersall Sovereign. We had a dead heat for the Group 3 Sovereign Stakes. David Egan was on board, and Besto Asheen Murphy was on board, Mighty Ulysses. Uh, Asheen didn't come out for the uh, trophy presentation, and he's very kindly going to be donate the first prize money to you as well, isn't he? Rightly so, yeah. <laughs> I know, he's in the next race, but um, no, nah, nice performance. It was. Now, tell me what your instant thought was as you crossed the line. Did you think you had won it, not won it, what? So I was definitely the one that forced the dead heat, but I actually thought my lad really pinned his ears back and got his head down, and... Uh, I was confident that if, if I didn't win the race, it would go to a dead heat, but it's very fine margins, and you are, there is that element of uh, hope as well, because <laughs> you want so much for this, these horses, and, and Basso is a horse who I've uh, obviously ridden on every start, and ride him a lot at home, and Jack, who looks after him, is very uh, charismatic and excited. He was texting me this morning and saying, oh, what do you think today? And it's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic for a horse who's... Uh, taking a step up in the grades and finished behind uh, what I think still could be a superstar in Nostrum. Um, obviously had his excuses with ground and etc at Goodwood, but um, this lad's going the right way. It looks like he's learned plenty as well from that defeat from Nostrum, where he still looks a bit raw, a bit green, maybe a bit gangly on the track. Yeah, and I think that was most um, noticeable uh, on the second start. First time out, he won easy. But on his second start, if you watch the replay, uh, Jamie Spencer cleverly stayed away from the group I was in. He was on the second favourite. They were five or six lengths clear by the two pole and I had to switch and go chasing. And I think that was the race that really made a man of him. Um, obviously still learning on the job and the experience Nostrum quickened away. And uh, But he's took another step forward. But I think uh, this will be a horse who We'll definitely get 10 furlongs for sure. He really hit that last 100 yards strong and galloped out good. So, uh, no, a lovely call. And this is also another journey on his sort of mental progress up against a couple of more hardened, older horses. Mighty Ulysses had such a tough campaign last season. Regal Reality now not far away, eight year old, and we know what a level he is. So, he, you can actually see the progress in this horse. Absolutely. Obviously, um, Oshin's horse ran well in St. James's Palace and looked very, he was a progressive horse who progressed through the handicap ranks, whereas this lad sort of won his two novices and has been thrown straight in the deep end as a three-year-old. But he obviously got his weight allowance today, which is obviously a big help, but more time goes on, he'll mature even more, and he hasn't reached his peak yet. Would you like to go 10 furlongs next, or do you, would, you, would you be sort of biding your time? Myself and the boss were contemplating on running him straight away over 10. Um, he was in the group two, the Ace Impact one, um, at Deauville on Tuesday and I think there was a nine furlong race at York next week but I just thought that 
I think a lot of this horse, and I thought he would be good enough today to get the job done. He's obviously just got it done, but I think stepping up and trip is where he's going to reach his um, full potential. Okay, he's got a champion stakes entry. Do you think he's he's ready to go into a Group One level? Um, obviously, he's a Group Three winner now. It's a big step up again, but I felt we finished second behind what I think is a Group One horse the last day in Nostrum. So, uh, look, the the world is oyster at this stage as they're progressing, but he's um, he's still got a step forward to take that next step into the deep end. It's very exciting. Well, congratulations on getting getting his nose in the right place at the right time. Thanks. <laughs> at least I can talk for Ushin as well. I'm sure his horse ran a very good race in <laughs> to win as well. So good. Cheers, David. <laughs> Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.